Hello there, I'm Turid, and this is Karen. Hello everybody! And today we're going to be showing you how to upgrade all of the royal tools in Dreamlight Valley. Because just like any farming genre, one of the key mechanics is up taking the tools that you use and upgrading them so you can progress further into different areas and so forth and so on. So let's start with perhaps the easiest upgrade, which comes from Anna. The upgrade to the shovel. After you have met Anna and done some of her main quest line, which starts in the uh, Disney Palace, of course. She's behind a uh, locked door. The first immediate quest she will give you when she arrives in the valley will see you actually take out these giant uh, stumps, blocking the way to the rest of the uh, Forest of Valor. You need to find a book first. She sends you to find that in her house and you will get a recipe from that book. Give the book to her, she'll set you off to craft the recipe at your workbench. Pretty straightforward, finding the ingredients for this. It's not too hard. It's a little grindy. Once you've then applied the enchant to your shovel, you can then go ahead and absolutely go ham on all the uh, stumps that have been blocking your way. Hardwood will now be a very easy thing for you to gather. As the stumps spew out tons of wood when you take them out, it's very, very handy. And you'll be able to unblock the way through both bridge-like areas in the forest here. Pretty straightforward out of all the uh, upgrade quests, to be honest. One of the easiest. Oh boy, I haven't handled this much hardwood since last weekend! Oh, Karen. Next up, we have upgrading the pick, which is actually split between two characters, Elsa and Maui. Maui will upgrade your pick to be able to get rid of uh, rocks obstructing the beach, and Elsa will give you the ability to get rid of ice rock formations, which will become very useful in the icy region up at the top of the map. Starting with Maui, Maui almost immediately upgrades your pick when you beat him in his zone in order to do one of the initial quests that he has for you. He'll send you back to that realm later to pick up some ingredients from a basket to get you started on the second part of the upgrade. It's that easy, you get the first upgrade like so quickly. But of course you can't clear the beach completely with the first upgrade so you need the second one. You head back to Maui's house which you would have placed on the beach by now and give him what he's after and his next request is a five star meal which is pretty straightforward to do. Shouldn't be too hard for you to cook up a five-star meal for him. And when you've returned that five-star meal, he will go ahead and upgrade your pick to the second level. And then he will immediately run off of you to the beach to try out your new ability. And there you have it. You'll then be able to go and clear the beach of all these pesky giant pebbles, pretty as they are. Get a ton of sand from them, which will be useful for crafting and be free to go ahead and decorate the beach at your leisure and now you can enter from both sides of the beach without getting blocked on the bridge anymore, which is great. Moving on to Elsa now with the ice pick upgrade. Anna is your gateway to Elsa. Anna will encourage her sister to come to the valley. And when Anna arrives in fantastic style, she will immediately set you off on a quest to get rid of these ice formations and she'll give you a recipe. Now this recipe is one of the easiest to actually gather the ingredients for. It wasn't that difficult at all. No hardship involved. And then once we return to Elsa and get our pickaxe upgraded, we can go ham on all of the ice formations in front of a cavern, which is gonna become her home. It's very satisfying, but of course we need to get rid of these really large ones as well. So we have to continue our questing with Elsa to get the second upgrade. To get the second upgrade going, we have to get Elsa to level 6. And we have to unlock Frosted Heights with 10,000 Dreamlight. Merlin will open that up for us. An exciting new area. And once we've opened it up, Elsa will have the quest for us. Elsa first of all takes you back to her cavern to inspect the uh, strange Frozen 2 music that keeps popping up and suggests that we upgrade the pickaxe to the second stage. Could you help me? This recipe for this part, again, quite straightforward. Find her a bunch of flowers, and then she sends you into uh, Frosted Heights to find more ingredients, which, again, are not really that difficult to obtain. You have to get ice chunks from inside her cavern. She gives you an ice bouquet because of the first part, 
You'll find a vial of freezing water immediately at one of the ponds, and snow is pretty much going to be everywhere because you're smashing these formations all the time. Back at the cavern, you'll pick up the ice chunks very easily and complete the upgrade process. You'll now be able to go and have a whale of a time smashing all the giant ice formations that have been blocking your way in frosted heights. And that is it for the pickaxe at the moment, as far as we know. I imagine we will have other upgrades for the pickaxe, but that's it for the moment. Do you want to build a snowman? And kick him in his snowballs? We never kick him anymore! Now we move on to the most problematic and evil upgrade of them all. The watering can upgrade. Merlin will show you his plan to upgrade your watering can in one quest, which you get through raising your friendship with him, but it's only temporary. You temporarily take out a mushroom, I couldn't have done better myself. and it's not until you increase his friendship again do you get on a quest chain that which will make this permanent. Now this quest chain is made very difficult by mushrooms. They only appear in the Glade of Trust, and they don't spawn in large amounts, so it takes you quite a long time to get 20 of them. It took me quite a few sessions to actually get these mushrooms to respawn. I advise you to bring a gathering buddy with you so that you will get double the spawns on occasion. And when you hand in this hellish little quest to Berlin, you'll upgrade your pickaxe. Emeralds aren't too hard to find. Bring a mining buddy with you in the areas that give out emeralds from the nodes. And Merlin will upgrade your watering can. This will allow you to get rid of the first stage clusters of mushrooms, but not the second, as you'll see here now. Karen is quite able to get rid of the first type, but we've got to go further if we want to get rid of the second type. Getting Burley to level 10 friendship gets us to the final quest, which will give us the fully powered up watering can, which will give us access to the full region of the Glade of Trust. Again, make sure you've got somebody like Kristoff with you. Assuming he has the gathering perk for you, he might not for me, he did. Stop staring at my butt cheeks, Kristoff! There'll be plenty time to clap later! And as you can see, we can pick up the falling water item there at the back of the glade as well. Didn't take quite as long as the first part, but still had to wait a few times over to get the mushrooms to spawn. You also grow a plant which gives you an ice heart. Now this quest is very frustrating because as you look across the river you can see that there are many many mushroom spawns on the other side of the bridge which you need the watering can to actually get through and you can't get out of them. Look at this mushroom! It's just, it's just right there! I should totally be able to grab it! I should be able to step forward and pick this mushroom up but I can't! It's ridiculous! Yes, we experienced true pain from this quest. We were glad to see it finished. You then craft the final, uh enchantment for your watering can. You have to do it yourself. And after bringing that back to Merlin, you can finally get onto the other side of the glade and get a ton of mushrooms. I have no idea if you'll ever need mushrooms for anything again, but I guarantee you I'll be holding on to them because it was a curse trying to gather them in the first place. And it's kind of a slap in the face, the fact that you get so many once the quest is done, but the rest of the glade is fully unlocked for you after that point. There is one perk to all of this. You do actually get a rather nice wizard hat from Merlin as a reward at the end of his uh, Ten Heart quest. Yes, it's very lovely. I like it a lot. Given that we're going into the spoopy season, it is the season for such garb. I, I suppose I could wear it with like, like this grand jack. Oh, it looks lovely. It does look lovely. Yeah. So there's a silver line in there for you. Now, if you're wondering about fishing, there are no upgrades for the fishing rod. There is, however, a glitching Goofy. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video, folks. I hope it uh, helps you get all of your tools upgraded swiftly. And uh, yeah, stream Dreamlight Valley as well. So if you want to check out that sometime, I do all sorts of weird stuff on this channel too. You might want to check that out as well. Thanks for watching.